Hello everyone, welcome to 30 minutes learning. Today we are going to discuss about aggregation binding in UEFI. Last video we discussed about property binding in UEFI using this external endpoint. That last video we are using this four object we binding in input field using value property. So in this video, we are going to use this array of data binding to table item aggregation. Okay, let's go to create a new project in WebID. Right click here, click that new project from template. Select that SAP UFA application, click next. Give that project name called uh, Aggregation binding. And namespace dev. Click next. Finish. take a couple of seconds to complete this project okay it's completed just expand that project folder inside the web app click that view so here we're going to create a one button so if that button click then we need to fetch information from this external endpoint then that endpoint we need to bind to table okay so this is the process we're going to implement today so first step we are going to create button so text text value we are going to give load data and press event called onload so event name called onload we need to create one functionality in controller file ok Let's go to control and click that view1.control.js. Here we're going to create another one called another one controller, another one function called onload. So in this function, we're going to use this endpoint to get data. So first step we need to define a model, JSON model. So I'm going to create a new variable for model new SAP UA dot model dot JSON dot JSON model. Here we can give that URL. And next step, we need to assign this model to our view. So, first we need to get our view. This top get view dot set model. So, o model. And here I'm going to give some name for this model. So, model name called user so user model we created now we can test our application just click that aggregation binding and click that run button and select that index.html and click ok Here you just press that F12 button for opening developer control. Here you need to select console, clear everything and click that network. Now just click that load button, okay, load data. Now it will trigger some endpoint to get our information. 
so api call lower peak here so data is fetched from here okay so next step we need to create a new table that table we need to bind our data via ag aggregation binding okay so let's go to create table so if you don't know about uh, how to use this table I recommend to use documentation so here you can use that SAP UFI SDK documentation or open UFI SDK documentation okay so in this uh, API reference just give that table and now we're going to use that SAP M table so I just select that table here you can see that um, what's the table and the uh, concept of properties what are the properties we can use for this table and aggregation everything here uh, they can explain everything okay so now we're going to use that aggregation binding so I just select that aggregation so column so these columns first we need to include here okay so next step if you see this column we need to add inside the columns so I add then if you look at that aggregation it's a header it's a default one so SAP UI code controller so SAP UI code controller all elements we can use inside the columns so I'm going to use text um, no text it's a label label element we're going to use to display our header data so text property we can just use that ID so five columns we need to create I just using shift ctrl D to duplicate these lines instead of typing and just copy paste this value from here first name and the last name avatar okay okay so every value we need to use like this column so separately we need to add these columns we can to directly add like so just replace these values another one column called avatar just save the last column we can use at last so I just now I hide here and um, select that table again click that aggregation select that show borrowed aggregation then you can see that items aggregation this aggregation we need to implement Output that, that columns okay so this item aggregation just select that list base we can implement any of any one of the elements so I'm going to use that column list element select that column list So select aggregation, it's a cell, it's a default aggregation, then UFA core controller. So we can here use the text element. So property called the text. So we already create model called the user. So I you need to give user then greater than simple 
slash um, not needed slash actually we can directly define but fill the name its ID here we can just duplicate values it's a four value so email first name last name okay then save then we need to use this item to bind our value so this item is ag aggregation so you need to go to this table top tab in this tab you just give the items and what model you want to implement inside the table so that model name you need to give or uh, if you use the default model you don't need to tell anything you directly assign your object so we use that model name called the user so this user then we need to use the data then then it will navigate to ID and the email first name boss name okay save and refresh our application this time I just clear everything control console on the network click that load data now you see our aggregation binding is completed so it's working perfectly so this column is one of the aggregation and the item is one of the aggregation of table if you see the documentation table having that lot of aggregation so columns is a one and the item is the another one so our data bind to these items so we can use another one value this avatar we not implemented now we're going to implement avatar also now we're going to use that image pro element so src now we can use avatar value just refresh that fifth column it will automatically it's loaded so just clear this console and uh, run now we see it's an image it's calling that's all guys so today we completed an um, aggregation binding in UI5 don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, make sure to click bell icon turn on the notification for my future videos thank you if you want to tell about anything in this video please write it down in the comment thank you guys bye